125 Fashion Institute graduates, four finalists, one head start in the fashion biz. Out of 125 graduate students, there's 125 different stories here, 125 different personalities. Everyone has their own story to tell through their art, and this is their chosen medium. I'm um, Adam Andresic. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, I am originally from Colombia. I'm Stephanie uh, Wassel. Uh, my name is Stephanie O.G. Um, my name is Andres Stokamp. I was born and raised in Germany. Uh, my name is Aisha Soni. I'm from India, Bombay. My name is Colin Chowen. I'm from South Korea. Anything inspires me, honestly. I love to travel. I get inspired by art. I like to create things that are edgy, but yet still girly at the same time. I'm the only one doing plus size. Different time periods, different cultures. I love to mix different periods together. I wanted to do a younger, trendier look instead of the older, frumpier look that they usually have for plus size. I like something for the clothes that's a little special, but not over the top. They have to still be wearable. My theme is Return to Innocence, and these are my two outfits. Um, this is a natural denim. It's kind of tea stained, riveted onto an interior corset. Vegetable dyed cotton from India. It's very like in a, a grungy, like in a really girly way. There's lots of like puffs. My theme was all on the last Chinese emperor, the tortured child he was. Something that everyone can wear and feel good in. It's basically a mixture of robots and Greek goddesses. My collection is based on Japanese military. Something inspired in the Victorian period and also with the gods of culture of the cities, of the big cities. I try to do something a little more asymmetrical with the pleating in the uh, silk lame. My critic, Derek Lamb, had said to us that uh, it looked as if she had went into her brother's closet and taken the belt and threw it on her dress to go out at night. I was actually looking at Picasso and Miro and all those surrealist artists and then I started sketching. I figured I'll take simplistic fabric, just plain fabric and then do manipulate it somehow. So I did uh, plaid fabric and pleated it. I went to the different goth bars here in New York City in the East Village. One of my my garments is made of um, doll's head. So. Doll's head? Yeah. So. I think it's great, you know, for them to come to our school and give us an opportunity to try to launch our own collection. It's really hard when you get out there to try to do that. So for them to come and try to help us out is awesome. It's hard to pick someone for an award like this because there are so many possibilities and it's hard to know every student. For me it's more about how we all work together and over the last weeks and it was a great community and people were helping each other. I think it's more of an unspoken competition. Of course there's competition. We're all really competitive underneath it all, but we're still, you know, friendly with each other and everything. Congratulations to whoever gets it. Yeah.